Doc Favors here and welcome back to our channel where we believe in creating a life of freedom through mindset and business coaching. I'm Doc Favors. I'm the host with the most guys and I appreciate all of you all, our new subscribers and everyone who continues to rock out with us. Uh, this evening, you all, I want to share something with you all about the law of the lead and success through leadership. I want to summate uh, leadership very quickly for you and if you know anything about success, you know anything about creating wealth and things of that nature, leadership is something that you have to eventually get around to studying. And one of the things that uh, one of my very first mentors was John C. Maxwell, and I'm still a member of the JM team, uh, the John Maxwell leadership team. I learned how to become a coach, a speaker, and a trainer, and and uh, you know a salesperson really over there with them and continue to roll with them. But this piece right here, you all, this particular law of the league comes to us from the book called The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Now, I know many of you all may have heard that. You may have seen it and read it. But this, this one chapter here, I have tons of notes in this piece. And I'm not going to break it all down to you like that because I want this to be a rather short video. But I do want you to understand something, that if you really want to be successful, you want to engage leadership, but you want to engage it from the standpoint of ability. So think about this. If you understand that by raising your leadership ability, it will increase your effectiveness across the board, okay? And without increasing your success dedication at all, you can increase your original effectiveness by over 600% if you take hold to the principle. So watch this. That means leadership has a multiplying effect, okay? And when you understand this, you then understand that you have to start taking the lid off of your capacity. So what does that mean? That means we got to study leadership. You got to study what type of leader you are. And the best way to study leadership is to sit under a good leader, under a good mentor. And you all know that I promote mentorship, and that's one of the reasons why. You know, it, even at this point right here, a good leader is one who knows the way and shows the way. So then if I can help you, for example... If I can coach you or mentor you and help you get through your pitfalls, unforeseen mistakes and shave off your, you know, um, setbacks by 50 to 60 to 70 percent, who wouldn't want to take that? And then, of course, you all know my, one of our goals here and one of our philosophies is to help all of our clients get to 10K a month and better. That means 10X. So no matter where you are, 10K is always the sweet spot. But in order to get there, you got to develop a leader's mindset. Because think about it, even though you could be a solopreneur and be great at that, uh, once you start getting to certain levels, what you want to do is staff to your weaknesses, right? You want to get people involved who can do the things that can remove yourself from it. That's when you know if you have a, a, a thriving business. I never forget when I got one of my businesses to the point to where I didn't even have to show up anymore because we had people in positions. We had managers, we had um, uh, entry level people in there. And it was just a great feeling, you know, to know that I could travel. And, and of course, they were being compensated for their value. You know, company has to make enough to do that. And, and once that happened, y'all, it opened my eyes to a whole nother level of leadership and effectiveness and, and understanding that, you know, you can't have success without leadership. Seriously. And, and, and I mean, sustaining success, like a company that's been open for a while. You know, many people don't realize, but we launched our Central Leaders Institute back in 2015, you know, and we did a couple of things. Of course, I kind of got sidetracked a little bit. But, you know, as we come back to it with years now, more years of experience, more leadership ability, more leadership capacity to handle things. So when my mentor shares things with me, and yes, I do still have mentors, guys. So when my mentor shares something with me, I'm able to grasp it more. It impacts me more and help me impact the people who I mentor because of the, the uh, my capacity to grab hold to the concepts quicker. And that's one of those things that you really want to consider, you all, that, you know, when you talk about impacting people and helping people and really find your vein and your purpose and your passion, money is a byproduct of it. Right. I, I will go as far as to say this. I believe, guys, that money is a byproduct of success. If you set your goals on solving the problems of other people, however you do that, however you help someone, then guess what? The money is going to come to you. So we should be thinking about what problem can we solve? How can we help people? You know, leaders don't tend to uh, compete with one another. Great leaders seek to create with other leaders. 
And that is, for me anyway, that's what the law of lid is all about. Take the lid off of your leadership capacity, your ability. Study leadership. Get this book, The 21 Irrefutable Law. This was one of the very first leadership books I read. And now I got a whole section on my bookshelf. The books you all see here is just for the office. I got two big six feet, seven feet bookcases at the house where the majority of all my books are. And of course, I, I use Kindle on my phone. But guys, I wanted to have I wanted to make a quick video for you all just to ponder, just to make you say, hmm, just to cause some questions to make you, you know, just look at your leadership. What level of leadership are you? You know, what type of leadership style do you have? Are you democratic, autocratic, laissez faire? You know, you spend some time researching a little bit and understanding that if you really want to be successful, like for real, then study leadership. I guarantee you it will not be a waste of your time. So, guys, with that being said, you know what it is. This is Doc Favors here. If anything was said that was uh, impactful, that was, you know, that, that landed with you, that resonated with you, then do me a favor and leave me a comment below like you all always do. But I love to hear about that. And I would like to hear, if you all would, um, leave also in the comment of this video, y'all. Let me know if some things that you all are dealing with so I can do some videos. Because, once again, let me tell you all this. I see, I was, see, I'll be trying to get out here, man, but... One of the reasons why I do the YouTube videos, you all, and I do this because this is a way of me giving back, right? Uh, I do this and put out free content, quality grade, conference grade content for you all, because that's the way of giving back. You know, God has really blessed me to have some some programs and, and that people buy into and they take in the programs. And so, you know, some people can't afford it. I get it, you know, but then some people just, you know, you just need a little tweaking. But overall, when you give back to communities like we do, you know, we partner with companies international to help buy animals. Um, it's one company called Heifer International that we work with. We buy goats and sheep and chickens, y'all, for small villages abroad. And, and that's one of the initiatives that we're getting ready to post on our website because I want to get you guys involved in that. You know, um, giving is one of the key principles that we teach around here. You know, so we can't just be all successful making all this money and never practice gratitude in the form of giving. And so that's one of the things that I utilize YouTube to give back, right? To say thanks, to practice gratitude, but to give back, you know, and, and it's going great, you know. So y'all drop some comments, drop some topics. You know, let me know where you all are, what you're trying to accomplish, what you're trying to do. And those of you all who are starting to check out the things that we got going on, you all should see some links with Live Good, amazing company. You see some links about the private Facebook group, I also give other content over there, but in my private Facebook group, I'm able to share a little more openly, right? So you definitely want to be inside that. I open up the vault over there and then you're going to see something. Obviously my book is out. So you want to get, you just, I got a lot of free resources for you guys to also balance out what we're doing. So any way we can help you, if one of our programs can help you find it, the free content can help you find, but if I could go research or you, if you want some insight and you drop it in the comment, then Hey, if, if it's, you know, something that I need to get involved or worth doing, then I'll do it. I'll look it up, you know. So that being said, you all, this is Doc Favors, man. Hey, let's be positive on purpose and not by accident. And as always, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.